Hello and welcome to another episode of the DMG Tech Show. I'm your host, Jonathan Parkinson. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at installing XBMC Media. Now, what XBMC Media is, is going to be one of the number one media outlets as far as it comes to open source. And as you see, I open it up here. And there's a ton of options here. So think of this as kind of like a media hub. Uh, the cool thing about this is if I come into... I believe videos. Are you gonna see? I, this is the first time I've opened it up here. Uh, we're gonna go to video add-ons, get more, and you're gonna notice there's a ton of stuff to launch in here. So it's kind of like a an advanced YouTube, I guess you would want to call it, because uh, it's not just YouTube you're gonna get in here. Look, okay, there's ESPN three. There's all sorts of stuff. Like Food Network. You know, there's tons and tons of stuff you got. You know, you can come in here and look at. So, uh, this is definitely uh, one of the best ways to go if you want to have like a lot of media, a lot of options to uh, kind of look at stuff, as well as you can add your pictures, music, programs. Uh, really, you can do quite a bit from inside of it. So let's go ahead and exit. So to actually get it installed is extremely easy. Well, for the most part. So we're gonna go ahead and need to open up our terminal. So let me go ahead and do a new window. There we go. And from within this terminal, we're going to need to cop a, copy a list of commands here. Now each command, you're going ahead and press enter after each one. You, you will only need to type in your password for the first one, and after that, they should just go ahead and automatically have that enabled. And so here is the list of commands. Now don't forget, in the description, I will have all these ready there for you. So if you just want to pull this up in a browser, within your uh, Crouton, your elementary OS, your boot, whatever you're running this on, uh, this is going to work. Just as long as you're running some sort of Linux distro. Now this is available for Android as well as Windows as well as Mac, but these tutorial videos are based on Linux, so that's what we're going to be talking about. Uh, again, once you have those all, go ahead and download and installed. Everything should be quick. The the longest download I believe is going to be about 80 megabytes, give or take, and that's for the actual uh, XBMC file itself and then you're just gonna like you see in the very beginning is you're just gonna go up to applications sound and video and it should be one of the last ones right there depending on what your icons you might not look exactly like that one and that's all you need to know and that's pretty much the simples of it if you do have any questions or comments about XBMC uh, if you're having a hard time getting it installed uh, you know the commands that I showed you in that terminal should give you the most updated version of it which I believe in this video should be 13.2 somewhere around there and so you should have all the, the latest fixes, all the errors taken care of and all that. Uh, remember, it is open source. If you do end up using it a ton and you, you know, want to contribute to the developers, you can head over to their website. And I'm sure there's a lot of donation links there for you to find. Uh, again, thanks for watching. As always, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.